guys so today's video is going to be a quick review and demo of the new urban decay electric palette if you guys haven't heard of this it's recently new i don't know how long ago it came out but i know it's pretty new and yeah so if you guys want to see how i got this look just keep watching and after the video i will have swatches and prices and all that good stuff and i also have a special guest in this video um you guys will see her in this video when um she pops up <laughs> this video is also a collab a collaboration video with my friend jennifer um i will link her youtube down below she also did a look with the electric palette um we just decided to get the palette and just each do a separate look and yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you guys after bye so to start off i am priming my eyes with max um, soft orc and I'm just putting this all over my lid preparing it for the eyeshadows that I'm gonna put on and then I'm gonna go in with my naked um, Urban Decay Basics palette and I'm using the eyeshadow naked 2 which is about a shade or two um, darker than my skin tone and I'm using the Sigma E40 brush and I'm just using this to as a transition um, shade just for the next eyeshadow that I'm going to apply. And then the next eyeshadow that I'm going to be applying is the Faint eyeshadow. And it's a medium brown shade. And I'm using a Sigma E25 blending brush. And this one is great to get right in your crease. And I'm giving myself a nice... Um, shaped like almond shaped look just to define my crease because I do have hooded eyes so I always need to give myself um like a crease just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger and then I'm just taking that E40 the same brush that I used previously and I'm just gonna use this to blend those two eyeshadows together and now for the fun part I am taking the MAC 6 plus and I'm using the Sigma F70 concealer brush and I'm taking that silver beautiful revolt eyeshadow and it's the most beautiful silver I've ever seen like the most high pigmented best quality silver I've ever seen I usually stay away from silvers but this one just looks so pretty and sparkly and like no other so I'm just putting that eyeshadow all over my lid and then taking my Sigma F70 to blend that out together. And then look who it is, my little puppy, my puppy named Elsa, which my four-year-old daughter named after the girl from Frozen. And my husband's out here trying to get her attention so she can look at the camera. So she's just going to stick around for a little bit. So, like again, I'm taking the Sigma E25 just to blend those eyeshadows together. And now I'm going to go in with my Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. And this is great for um, dry skin people. I'm going to do my face right now and then come back to my eyes to finish it. And now I'm taking my Bare Minerals Renew and Hydrate Eye Cream. This is great to um, put under your eyes if you have puffiness. Or you haven't slept right and then next I'm taking my Laura Mercier foundation primer which is really great it's not too thick or too thin it's just great 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 it's just great and then going in with my uh, professional of course this is, um, helps for your pores and then my dog wasn't letting me put it on because she kept licking my face <laughs> but now I'm gonna go in and use my Naked Skin Foundation from Urban Decay, and I'm in the shade 4.0, and I'm using my MAC, um, what is it, the 130 brush, and then I'm just going to put this all over my face. It's a medium coverage um, foundation. It's a really great um, foundation if you're going to go out at night. It's not more of a daytime foundation, but if you like that full-on makeup look during the day then you would love this foundation I haven't worn it in a while and I wore it um, for this 
tutorial and I fell in love with it all over again. And now I'm taking my Urban Decay 24-7 um, Concealer Pencil. And I don't know the shade that I am, but it says 2K1, so I'm guessing that's the the shade number or whatever it is. And it's very creamy, um, it's a very creamy concealer, so um, it doesn't really crease on you. Well, at least on me it doesn't do. <laughs> and excuse my husband, he was like joking around with me because I looked funny the way I applied my concealer. And um, yeah, so anyways... I'm just applying the concealer with the Sigma F60 and like I was saying it's a very creamy concealer but it does give you a great coverage. I love this concealer when I tried it at the store and I still do. I use it once in a while. I usually use it when I have a full on face going on. Not like a regular um, just going to run errands type of look. I don't usually use it for that because it is a thick um, creamy concealer so it does give you a great coverage but overall it is a great concealer I would highly highly recommend this concealer and then so as you see I'm just brushing everything around blending it back and forth just to make sure there was there's no lines and now I'm going in with my Ben Eye Banana Luxury Powder this is great for underneath the eyes to give you a nice wake up look and then I'm using my Sigma F35 as usual and I'm taking my um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Plus. And I'm just taking my big fluffy brush from Sigma. And it's the F20. And I'm just putting that all over just to uh, get a nice matte look. So now for the fun part, I'm using my Sigma, or no, my MAC 219, sorry. And I'm using that bright pink Savage color. It's a beautiful shade, so pigmented. These shades will go a long way because you need a little bit. And then I'm using the small shader um, smudge side of the double-ended brush. And I'm taking that one shade, Urban, and it's that deep purple shade. And now I'm using the other side, which is a shader brush. I'm using the um, eyeshadow Jilted, which is like a plummy shade. More like a raspberry um, color, and blending those all together is such a great, gives you such a great um, blended look. And then using the Urban Decay 24/7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Black Market. So yeah, I'm using that all over my um, in my tight line and using it in my waterline. And I just thought a black eyeliner would complement this look. I thought it looked so pretty with the um, black eyeliner. And then using that um, shader side of the brush that comes in the palette, I'm just I'm blending those shades and that eyeliner together just to give it a little like smoky eye look at the bottom. And then now going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz um, eye pencil, eyebrow pencil in soft brown, I'm just eyelining or shaping my eyebrows just getting them to a nice shaped um, look it doesn't have to be too dramatic but I decided to go a little bit dramatic for this look since my look is very like a clubby night out type of look and now I'm just gonna brush through my eyebrows just to get some of that excess off that I might have put on and I'm taking my elf eyebrow kit in medium and I'm just going to use the powder to fill in the inner part of the eyebrow just so it won't look too dark in the front. And just like that, both eyebrows are done. And now I'm taking that eyeshadow from the Naked Basics palette, the Venus. It's a nice um, highlighter. And I'm just taking any little brush. I actually don't know the name of the brush that I'm using. But um, any little brush will do. And now I'm taking the NYC Liquid Eyeliner, and it's just in black, number 887. And I'm just doing a nice little winged out look, not too crazy, like I usually try to do. <laughs> but you never know, with liquid eyeliners, you never tend to do a perfect eyeliner, usually. I always end up making it too long or too short, so it never comes out perfect, but... For this look, I actually love the way my eyeliner came out. 
And yeah, I'm just gonna keep lining it out, putting it from the inner eye and all the way all the way to the out. And I'm just gonna blend it out like here, just doing it so slowly. I learned that if you take your time doing it um slowly and patiently, you will get the best results. And now going in and putting on my Ardell Glamour eyelashes in number 106. These eyelashes are so beautiful. They kind of flare out, so they give you that nice almond-shaped look. And I'm using that with my dual um, eyelash glue in dark tone. I'm just going to be applying these with my um, tweezers, and my tweezers will do. There's um, tweezers that are actually shaped kind of like um, eyelashes to help you out if you guys want to try those out. And now I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal um, Voluminous Mascara. And this is the original one. It's in black. I'm just going to put um, a couple coats of this um, to blend my real eyelashes with my fake ones. So that it looks all natural and beautified. <laughs> And then going in with my Maybelline um, Lash Discovery Mini Brush Mascara. If you guys haven't tried, it, tried this brush, it's amazing for um, your bottom eyelashes. I have really small eyelashes and this, get, this mascara helps me make them look nice and full and longer somehow. I have no idea. But next I'm taking my Hoola uh, Bronzer from Benefit. And it's just... Um, a nice um, bronzer for my skin tone and usually for every skin tone there's dark skin, dark skin um, girls out there that use this and it works for them as well and I'm just using the same brush that comes inside um, I know there's another brush out there by NARS and I can honestly say that I probably wouldn't waste my money on that because this brush does pretty much the exact same thing it's just the NARS brush is more dense and this one's a little bit not that much. And now I'm taking my um I'm taking a Tarte blush. It came out in the set around Christmas. I don't know the name of it, but it's a nice um bright pink. But if I can find the name of it, I'll let you guys know down below. And then I'm taking my Sigma F10 brush to apply this, which is my favorite blush brush of all time. Um, it's to me better than the actual blush brushes that are out there. So yeah, I'm just applying this blush. Um, a little bit goes a long way, so use a light hand. And then I'm taking my um, Mary Luminizer, and this one is in I don't know the name of it, but it's just the Mary Luminizer, and I'm just using a nice um, fan brush from Sephora. And it's number 43. And it's a cheap alternative alternative fan brush. Um, I don't can't remember how much it was, but there's so many out there, and this one works just great. And then I'm taking my naked um, lip gloss, and it's in Love Child, and it's a beautiful pale, um, kind of muted uh, pink, and I love the way it looks. And to finish the whole look. I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, Long Lasting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, this is the finished makeup look. If you guys like the video, um, like it below and let me know a video that you guys want to see in the future. And just a reminder, check out my friend Jenny. Um, she will be uh, linked down below so you guys can go check her out and see how she came out with her look. But I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Hey guys! So welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. So I know since you guys saw the video, um, I'm pretty sure you saw my little puppy. So this is Elsa. We named her, well, my daughter named her Elsa from Frozen. This is what she looks like. And she is six weeks old. So it's my first puppy, I think, ever. I've had other dogs, but they've all been older. And she's actually been my first puppy ever. And we've had her today, actually. 
on, was it May 31st? The first day that we got her. So we're excited for that. She's so cute and oh, I don't know, puppies are so cute. <laughs> so she came out in my video and I just thought I would show you guys my new puppy. I have my other dog which is like a wiener mix with terrier I think. And he's about 8 months and he's very jealous of her so far. <laughs> He's been attacking her a couple times, which I'm so sad, but, you know, they'll get along soon. <laughs> but yeah, say bye. Say bye, Elsa. Say bye, people. <laughs> bye. Okay, let's put you down. Okay, so now, back to the palette. <laughs> so like I told you guys, this video was a, co a collaboration video with my friend um, Jennifer Reese. She also does YouTube videos on YouTube, <laughs> and I will link her, um, her thing, what is it called? I will link her YouTube account down below. You guys can check out her look. Um, she did, like, a rainbow, not rainbow, but it was more like a mermaid look, which she wanted to call it. So, it came out really nice. She used, um, let me see, she used the greens. And then the lime color and blues in her um, look. I love the way it came out. It was very creative and different. And yeah, so I hope you guys like her um, look and will check her out. Like I said, I will post it down below so you guys can go check her out. So now moving on to the palette. So the palette looks like this. It's a beautiful, beautiful, like the most beautiful palette I've ever seen. And it looks like somebody just got a, a bunch of paint brushes with those shades on it and just slapped it on the palette and said, that's it, that's the palette. <laughs> so the box looks exactly, they look exactly the same. This is a palette, this is a box. So on the box in the back, it has, you know, Urban Decay, it has all the shades and it has their names underneath of them. So in the back it says, it's a color addict's ultimate fix, a mind-blowing palette filled with 10 of the brightest, most amazing shades you have ever laid eyes on, including 8 never-before-seen shades you won't find anywhere else, plus a double-ended brush. Choose from a matte, satin, and shimmer textures. From current exclusive chaos, the most highly coveted shade from the Vice palette and freak neon green to urban metallic purple and jilted fuchsia with a blue shift. This palette has it all. And the color payout, insane. Our pigment infusion system delivers soft, creamy, blendable colors that last. So that's what it says in the back. So for the case, um, it's a plastic case and it's a very sturdy type of case. It, I feel like if you would drop this, it would last you. It wouldn't, I don't think the eyeshadows would break. I haven't dropped it myself, but it feels really nice and hard. So, yeah. So when you open it up, it has a big size mirror. And it has UD for Urban Decay. And the size of the mirror is really good. It's a nice big mirror that you could use if you're going to use um, this whole palette just on its own. So these are what the eyeshadows look like. You get 10 beautiful shades. They are highly pigmented eyeshadows, which... You gotta be careful if you're gonna use them as well because I heard I haven't actually taken it off but I heard that if you put certain eyeshadows on they are hard to come off depending what type of makeup remover you use but these colors you guys are gorgeous they are that pop of color shades that you would use uh, not on a daily basis but they are shades that you know you would use once in a while so inside you also get a little brush like this it's a double ended and it says urban decay in the middle on one side you get a flat shader brush nice to pack on that eyeshadow and on the other side you get like a smudging brush it's a tiny brush um, to get in there which is what I used for the video as you guys see in the swatches they are very pigmented the shades are intense. That silver is just out of this world. I've never seen a silver like that before. Um, all the shades, the, the hot pink, that dodger, like blue type of shade, that beautiful like lime green color. Oh, it's, oh, they're just so pretty. But all the shades overall are beautiful. Um, 
I'm excited to try that one orange shade, which is so beautiful. It looks really pretty, but it's very, very crazy pigmented. Just the swatches alone will make you buy it. You will probably want to use this over and over again because they're just beautiful shades that you could use. Even though they're not eyeshadows that you would use on a daily basis, they are eyeshadows that you will get your money's worth and will use on the weekends or night out or just for like EDC or just anything like that, like a carnival, festival look. But as you guys saw the look that I did today, I just, I think my look is kind of simple, very wearable. Um, it's something that I could see myself wearing like to go out at night or just anytime I would literally wear this just to go to the movies it's such a beautiful look I fell in love with it I didn't know what I was gonna do with this palette when I saw it and I'm like okay so the price of this palette is $49 um, that's not surprising since all their Urban Decay palettes are usually around $50 like their naked all their naked palettes are 50 and it didn't surprise me when I saw that this one's $49 um, yeah, I just think it's such a great palette. I mean, I would highly recommend this palette. You guys will for sure see me using this palette a lot because I'm in love with it. And yeah, I can say that about all my palettes, but I mean, the case alone is so pretty. <laughs> I am in love with this palette. It looks so pretty. Yeah, it's just so pretty. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, please check out my friend, um, check her out, her name's Jennifer Reese, I said that again, and again, and I think again. <laughs> I will link her down below, I will link where you can get this online, and yeah, I will post everything that I use in this video down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I will talk to you guys later, bye!